Hello there, my name's Colin. I think education is primarily about the future. But I think the future doesn't look so bright unless we rethink the direction that we're heading in. Let's rethink the future. But we'll start in the past at a time when sea monsters used to rule the world. We used to think the world was flat. And since then, of course, we've discovered that our world is round. And so too are all of Earth's systems. Drawings not to scale. Here's another natural system. You could have uh, caterpillars could feed off leaves on the tree, and then small birds could come along and they could eat those caterpillars, and then larger birds could come along and they could eat off um, those smaller birds, and eventually, ultimately, all these creatures die and their nutrients return to the soil, and that soil um, helps the growth of plants such as trees, of course. So our world has no straight edges. It's round. It's cyclical. But uh, someone should tell our industrialists. They toy with a linear system in which we take, we make and we dispose. It's a system that can't possibly work long term because raw materials are finite and there's only a certain amount of space in which we can store our waste. Our linear system is damaging in all sorts of levels. We see that employment is falling, particularly amongst youths, that credit levels are falling, that uh, well, low wage labour, that's on the rise, and energy and material prices, well actually they're rising exponentially. That's a huge problem. Some clever people are starting to ask new questions of our industrial system. What if we could mimic nature and make a cyclical system that had no waste? What if we could use things without using them up? What if we built a system that regenerated the economy and the natural world? Now let's go back to sea for a second to meet a sailor, Ellen MacArthur. She didn't come to fame for slaying sea monsters. Um, instead, she became pretty good at racing around the world in a boat. She gives her name and her energy to the Ellen MacArthur Foundation and we promote an idea called the circular economy. We work with schools, with universities, with business and with governments to promote the opportunities the circular economy offers. Our economic reports indicate the size of the prize is around 2 trillion US dollars per annum worldwide and that's a figure to make even flat earthers take notice. For the circular economy to take hold, we need the next generation of designers, of business leaders, of material scientists, of energy specialists, of systems thinkers to engage their mind in the circular mode. So what does that mean to you guys in schools? Well listen, if you visit our website there you can see we've got a whole bunch of stuff and we also offer free CPD. Right listen, I want you to do me a favour right now. I want you to jot down my Twitter username or my email address and I want you to write to me to say the world is circular. Go on, do that right now and I'll send you a bunch of teaching materials and I'll speak to you about CPD and I'll tell you about a competition that we've got where you can meet Ellen MacArthur. So, we are the Ellen MacArthur Foundation and we think there's a pressing need to rethink the future. Do you care to join us? Thanks very much for listening.